Hey guys, Tyson here with Kicker Technical Support. What we're going to go over today is wiring four of our comp speakers in series and then parallel. All four speakers are four ohm and to always start out make sure that all of your speakers are the same ohm load. Never include like a two or an eight or mixed ohm loads within your batch. Always make sure that everything starts out the same. If you have an odd speaker in there, it could change out the final output to an amp and or the lower ohm load tends to pull more current draw off a setup. So to get started, what we do to make it easy is we pair them up. We'll take these two in a pair and then these two to a pair. Those will be our banks. So we'll take this bank here, and we'll wire it in series. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the negative of this speaker and go series over here to this positive. So I've went negative, positive. Take my speaker wire, so I would use going to my amp. Go to my positive. To my negative. Go over here to these two, the other bank. Same thing like we did over here. Take the negative of this speaker, positive to this speaker. Basically just repeating the process. So we my speaker lead to the amp. Take the positive of this speaker, positive for my wire, and negative, negative. Now what this done was putting them in series, took these two four ohm speakers and I made an eight ohm load right here. Same thing with these two. This is also an eight ohm load. The amplifier that you're gonna use, or amps in general, do not know that you're tying two eight ohm loads in. It has no idea how many banks or what you're doing. What it's gonna see is the final uh, impedance or the final ohm load to its uh, speaker channel. So, what you do now is basically we go parallel. So we're gonna take these two eight ohm loads, we're gonna drop them down to a total of four. So, I take the negative of each bank, I tie it together, and then the positive of each bank, and I tie them together. Check this load, show you guys what it can do. Take my multimeter, have it set to the ohm setting here. Take my negative lead to the negative of my meter positive lead, positive of my meter. This reads out to be about a 3.9 to a 4 point ohm load. So what that means is once we do series and parallel, our final output is a 4 ohm load. We're going to look for an amplifier that could produce roughly 600 watts at a 4 ohm load if we're going to work with these comps. Um, it helps you decide on what amplifier you're going to work with, what runs, and what will, what will uh, you know, suffice for the system. If you take this lead and you go to an amp that for some reason may want to see a lower ohm or uh, if you go to an amp that's maybe 8 ohm for some reason and you put this 4 ohm load to it, you could cause the amplifier to shut down. You never want to go lower than the ohm load of what our amplifier wants to see. So in general, we're going to look for an amp that could do 600 watts roughly at a 4 ohm load. Hope that helps you guys out. Thanks.